Hello everyone, welcome back to Zilli Tales. Today we have a fascinating story as we delve into the life and legacy of Charles Njonjo, the former Attorney General of Kenya. His impact on the legal landscape and politics of Kenya is profound. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Now let's get started. Background Charles Mugani Njonjo, born on January 23, 1920, played a pivotal role in shaping Kenya's legal and political history. Let's begin by exploring his early life and education. Njonjo Jonjo was the son of the late Josiah Jonjo, a paramount chief and one of the foremost collaborators of the British colonial rule in Kenya. The Jonjo family were close friends of Harry Leakey, whose son Lewis and paternal grandson Richard died on the same day as Charles. These have played important roles in archaeology and Kenyan politics. Legal career. Jonjo's journey in the legal field is truly remarkable. Let's take a look at his rise through the ranks and his significant contributions as a legal luminary. Jonjo works in London for two years and returned to Kenya at the end of 1954. He then went into the state law office and on 1st March 1955, he was appointed Assistant Registrar General. In June 1956, he was posted to Mombasa, where he worked as the Deputy Official Receiver in charge of bankruptcy and later Crown Council. He stayed there for five years and his office is based at the legal mansion on Fort Jesus Road. Jonjo's legal career was marked by his dedication to upholding justice and the rule of law. As a brilliant lawyer, he became known for his sharp legal mind and unwavering commitment to justice. Attorney General In 1963, Kenya gained independence and Charles Jonjo was appointed as the first African Attorney General. This marked a historical moment in Kenya's legal history. Let's explore the impact he had during his tenure. In 1976, during a period of tense relations between Kenya and Uganda, Jonjo took part in secret negotiations with Israel that proved instrumental in the success of the Israeli military's operation in Tebe. The government of Kenya allowed the Israeli armed forces use Nairobi airport as a stopover base in the context of the military assault on Entebbe airport that ended a week-long hostage crisis involving Israeli air passengers taken prisoner by a PLSP commando. President Jomo Kenyatta died in 1978 to be succeeded by Moy as Njonjo had anticipated. Charles Njonjo entered into parliament in April 1980 after retiring as attorney general at the age of 60, a post in which he had served for 17 years. He had considered politics for over a decade but hesitated due to the lack of a popular base. As attorney general, Njonjo played a crucial role in the establishment of Kenya's legal framework. His efforts were instrumental in shaping the nation's legal system during its formative years. Political influence. Beyond his legal career, Njonjo was a key figure in Kenyan politics. Let's discuss how he navigated the complex political landscape and controversy that surrounded him. He was elected MP for Kikuyu and challenged after the incumbent MP had resigned his seat the day before Njonjo announced his candidacy. In June 1980, he was selected for a newly created cabinet position by Daniel Arap Boy as Minister for Home and Constitutional Affairs during an unexpected cabinet reshuffle. After the attempted coup of 1982, Moy decided to purge his party and cabinet of figures he had established wanted him out of power. Chief among them would be Njonjo and powerful internal security minister, G.G. Karioki. He was dragged through a judicial inquiry, which concluded that he had abused office and had tried to take over power from Moy. He was forced to resign, effectively destroying his political career. In the early 1990s, he was the chairman of the East African Wildlife Society. Jonjo's political journey was marked by both accomplishment and controversies. His influence in politics was undeniable, and his legacy is a subject of much debate and discussion. Legacy As we reflect on Charles and Jonjo's life, it's essential to examine his lasting legacy. How did his contributions shape Kenya's legal and political landscape for generations to come? In 1998, he returned to public life and was appointed chairman of the Kenya Wildlife Service. In October 2006, there are indications that Njonjo was attempting a comeback in Kenyan politics, including his show of support for Raina Odinga. Njonjo's legacy extends far beyond his time in office. His contributions to Kenya's legal and political system continue to influence the nation's trajectory and his impact is still felt today. Conclusion And there you have it, the remarkable story of Charles Njonjo, the former Attorney General of Kenya. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating stories. Thank you for joining us on Zilli Tales. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, see you in the next video.